everybody. This is Steve Callis, speaking of sports. I encourage you to go to westchestercountypost.com, click on sports videos, sports articles, Notre Dame football, a lot of other good stuff there, wellness, dining, entertainment. Uh, so please check out that website. But today we're here to talk about tomorrow's game where 21 ranked Navy is going to number 16 ranked Notre Dame. It's the first time that the two teams have played each other as ranked teams since 1978. Now obviously that's mainly because Navy hasn't been ranked that much, but this year they're 7-1. They have the leading rushing attack in the nation. They got a star quarterback we're going to talk about in a minute. But this is not the easy game that it's kind of viewed, viewed to be in the past. Um, because Navy in the past has beaten uh, Notre Dame, but as the coach said, it was usually on Notre Dame down years. Notre Dame 7-2 and two with losses to Georgia and Michigan. Those are two very good, you know, top 15 teams in the country. So Notre Dame is still a very good team this year, even though they've lost uh, two games, and that takes them out of the playoff. But looking at Navy at Notre Dame this Saturday, um, I just want to give you some stats on the Navy quarterback who nobody knows about, and he's one of the best quarterbacks in the country. Um, and his, you know, Navy runs the triple option, which no no other team really runs in the country and it's hard to prepare. Coach Kelly at his press conference said they were trying to prepare back in the summertime and at the beginning of the year and during the bye week. But as he said, it's hard to get players. They actually get players, guys off the street at Notre Dame to try and be like Navy, but you can't duplicate what Navy does. And their star quarterback, I'm gonna read you some of his stats. Malcolm Perry, he's only 5'9", 185 pounds, which if you heard that, you go, how can this guy be a quarterback? Well, he was actually a slot receiver last year for Navy, and this year he's the quarterback. But listen to these uh, numbers. He's got 185 rushes for 1,042 yards and 16 touchdowns. As a rusher, he's one of the top 15 rushers in the country. As a quarterback, he's the number one rushing quarterback in the country. As for passing, he's thrown for 722 yards an additional five TDs, and Coach Kelly called him the following, quote, he's a dynamic offensive player, quote, he's a point guard. Um, Navy coach Ken New Matalolo had a great quote about facing Notre Dame every year. Navy plays Notre Dame every year. They switch back and forth with the home team, home field advantage, obviously. But here's what he said, because it helps his recruiting. Again, Navy's ranked 21st in the country, and they have a star quarterback. But here's what he said specifically about just having Notre Dame on their schedule. You'd think most teams would be afraid to play Notre Dame, but this coach has beaten Notre Dame three times. Yes, he did say that they beat them when they're down years, and this is an up year. Uh, but this is a very big up year for Navy. But here's what he said just about playing Notre Dame. Quote, we feel very fortunate as a program to be able to play Notre Dame just a great program with a great tradition. Now, Navy this year is rushing for 358 yards a game. They're number one in the country in rushing. And as we said, they have the number one rushing quarterback. They also have two very good fullbacks, which is what you need to run the triple option. They also have an offensive line that has two guys, 300 pounds, who are athletic. They can play the offensive line. So Notre Dame's just not going to bully them and push them around like they normally do when it's uh, normally Notre Dame with the gigantic linemen and Navy with the smaller kind of team. So I think this is going to be a tough game for Notre Dame. I think they can win, obviously, but Notre, um, Navy poses some problems that they simply have not posed in the past when Notre Dame is a good team, which they are this year. They're not a great team. They're not a top four team, but they're ranked 16th in the country. And if they run the table, they might very well get back into the top 10 before the end of the year. Uh, defensively for uh, Notre Dame, Okwara, as you know, got injured. He's out for the season, one of their star defensive ends. Uh, but Okandiji is going to take his place. They're pretty deep at defensive end this year at Notre Dame. So you expect the defense still to play well enough. But again, to face the triple option, that's going to be a huge challenge for uh, Notre Dame. Ian Book should be fine, their offense should be fine, uh, but again, I think it's going to be interesting. The whole thing to watch this game is can Notre Dame, if not stop, at least neutralize the Navy triple option run offense with their star quarterback. This is Steve Callis speaking of sports. We'll see you the next time.